you want love you want connection you want sex so stop resisting your desires and allow them to come through that is what this video is all about when it comes to guys I notice this time and time again when it comes to guys when they get into the community what they start to do is they start to question the desires that come up naturally is this okay should I say this should I act like this and it's a natural part of them that they don't know that they already know how to seduce but they're stopping yourself from the most seductive part of uh, who they are let's look at resistance for a moment let's look at it very close and in depth when it comes to resistance it is there because of blocks from society or from past experiences that you've had that let you know that the desire you have is not okay. Let's look at a few. When you express your sexuality, maybe your mom told you that it was bad. Maybe your dad said that um, you should be a good boy. Maybe uh, one time you did it to a girl and she shamed you for it. So you're like, you know what? When I express my desires in a really clear way, that is bad. And just giving you an example from my life, when I was little, I um, was talking to this girl and she became my girlfriend and what I did is that I was watching porn ever since I was eight and I decided to give her a letter about all the things I was hearing in porn. So I was telling her I wanted to do a doggy style, I told her I wanted to have sex with her and all these things when I was 10 years old to be honest with you. And what that did to her of course it probably fucked her up for a little bit in her life and she gave the letter to her mom. And when she gave a letter to her mom, I got called to the office and she was crying in front of me and the principal and her and her mom were all in front of me just telling me how bad I was uh, for doing that. And that really, for a moment, it made me feel so humiliated. I was just like, oh God, man, maybe I shouldn't have did this. This was a bad choice. What the fuck was I thinking? And then doing all that, you know, and having that experience, it let me know that expressing my desire towards women my sexual desire towards women was wrong. Now I had other experiences in my in my early childhood time that completely is the opposite of that where I was you know having sex at early age and I didn't let that stop me but that experience in itself had the effect on me of when you express your desires clearly sometimes it will be fucking shut down and for the rest of my life after that point at certain points, I would start to kind of question it. Like, should I say this? Should I do this? Mm, I don't know if I should do this. And that brought ambiguity. That, that brought, I don't know if this is okay. And I'm here to tell you that I did go through some of those things. And some of the things you're going through is because of the past experiences that you had. And all of us have them, man. All of us have them. The best of us have them, to be honest with you. And another example that I want to give you is of, you know, resisting and how it showed up. It's society. Society makes it seem like when you have a desire, it should be only one that's acceptable um, in, in, in closed door, behind closed doors. So if it's in a private setting, express all you want. Express whatever it is you want when people are not around. But the moment people come around, if you start expressing yourself, you better walk on eggshells, you better tread softly, you better tread slowly, and make sure that you don't rock the boat with others. And I'm here to tell you, it's all false. It's all illusions. All the things that you've ever been told about your desires is wrong. What's right is exactly what's coming through you in the moments that it does. That is what's right. What's right is when you see that woman that you want wanting intimacy with her. That's right. When you see the woman that you want wanting to have a connection with her, that is right. A connection with her, that is right. When you see a woman that you want and you want to have sex with her, that is healthy and right. I'm here to tell you that. Stop resisting yourself. Stop it. This point right now in your life, I just want to tell you that when you start to allow the desires to spring through you, that's when your life will change. That's when you'll truly start to get the women into your life that you want. That's when you'll truly start to have the experiences that you want and the life that you've always wanted to generate. It was the moments where I resist myself. It was the moments where I I start questioning myself of should I do this should I do that 
And every single time I question myself in those moments, those were the moments where the universe was like, all right, well, I'm not gonna give you what I'm gonna give you. Or those were the moments where um, I was in front of girls and I would be like, um, I don't know if I should say this. And then she would feel that not being present and it would make her unattractive. It was at times like this where I started to understand something very clearly. And that is the natural part of myself that wants to express my desires is a part of me and it's a part of you. Whatever part of yourself that you truly want to express, allow it. Really allow it. And what I mean by allow is stop filtering yourself to express the parts of you that you want to. The parts of you that you want to express, they are you. Who you are lies behind all your unexpressed feelings. This is something I tell my students over and over and over that if you stop expressing yourself, that is when you become the person that you're not. When you start expressing the things that come to you naturally, that's when you're in alignment with yourself. Allow yourself to be all you can be by expressing the desires that come up naturally. Oh, I like that, <laughs> that's a good rhythm. Allow it, allow, allow, allow. Resisting, what it does, it pushes you away from the things you want. Allowing pulls you toward it. Allowing gives you energy. Allowing is scary, it is. Don't let, me, don't let me stand here and try to you know, make it seem like just allow, you know, it's all good. You know, allowing is scary. That's why most people, most people won't allow. Allowing takes you what? It takes you out of ego and it takes you into the moment. Resisting, it puts you right into ego and it starts making you have excuses like, this is not right. I probably shouldn't do this. This is not accepted. The girl won't like this. Oh my God, am I crazy? Am I a pedophile? All these things start coming into your mind and all they are is that the ego is speaking to you in a moment and it's, it's, it's conflicting with the part of yourself that naturally wants to come through. And I'm here to tell you that if you let it come through, that's when you have the life you want. That's when you start getting the experiences you want. That's when you start to bring the women into your life that you've always wanted to bring into your life and it becomes quite easy for you. The road becomes very easy when you start allowing. Because once you get used to allowing, you become used to getting the things you want. And the more you're used to that, then you, it becomes an expectation and from that place, the only thing you can expect is greatness. You really can. Until next time, I want you to walk away with this. This is the exercise that I'm going to give you. This is the exercise that I give my students. And I'm just going to reveal it to you, all right? The exercise is called the unfiltered exercise. What I want you to do is that the next woman that you see on the street, the next woman that you want to talk to in the bar, whatever, wherever it may be, what I want you to do is that I want you to walk up to her. And I want you to say exactly what it is that you want to say. I want you to express whatever it is that you want to express. And don't worry about her liking you. Don't worry about her uh, giving you the number. Don't worry about whether or not you said it in the right way. Just align yourself with the desire that you want to express. And then from that place, see what happens. You'll start getting everything from now. You'll start getting women getting angry, getting pissed off, getting horny, being turned on, being happy, being appreciated being uh, disgusted by you. You want everything. Your desire, who you are, you want everybody to react to it. Especially you want women to react to you in whatever way they're gonna do it when you started really expressing yourself. And the reason why I'm talking about this in this manner is because I start noticing that when I start allowing myself to just express and just allow myself to, in the moments where I just don't know, express. When I start allowing this, that's when everything became more simple and man, it's going way uphill now for me. And for you, for it to go uphill for you, go out and try to exercise. See how women start responding to you. Notice that women will start liking you more and liking you less. But you, but the thing, but the thing about this is, when the women who do like you, uh, when you start noticing that uh, through this being, this way of being, they will be the ones a lot of times who will go on a date with you for sure. They'll be the ones a lot of times who will be able to reciprocate interest with you. And that's why most of the days I go on, I have sex with the girls because I am so clear in the beginning about why I'm there. My desire is bodily expressed. It's through my eyes, through the way I speak, it's through, through the way that I touch her, and she knows. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles saying, I'm here in Margaret Island in Budapest, and I'm just expressing to you guys my desire to want to teach you. Go out there and make shit happen. Subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I'm out of here.